हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड न्यूज फॉर ऑल रेलवे जॉब एस्पिरेंट्स रेलवे रिक्रूटमेंट बोर्ड हैज अनाउंस द कैलेंडर एग्जाम कैलेंडर फॉर द ईयर 2024 लेट अस लुक एट द की इंफॉर्मेशन इन द कैलेंडर नाउ इफ यू लुक एट ईच ऑफ द एग्जाम्स एंड द रिक्रूटमेंट पीरियड इज मेंशन इन द कैलेंडर नाउ अर्लियर students we used to prepare is to prepare for the exams and wait for the notification why we are saying this is a good news is you can actually target the exams you are going to write and plan your preparation and you can actually focus on your preparation and get ready for the exam now if you look at your alp assistant loco pilot notification period january to march that means the recruitment process release of notification conduct of exam etc document verification everything will be uh, in during the period january to march then we have technicians during april to june this year then ntpc graduate level level 4 level 5 level 6 that means you are traffic controller goods guard station master senior clerk commercial clerk all these posts come under your ntpc graduate level ntpc graduate level july to september notification and exam then ntpc undergraduate level july to september then you have junior engineers again in the month of july to september paramedical in the month of july to september now you can see july to september you are getting four important exams in the month of july to september right so what are those ntpc graduate level ntpc undergraduate level junior engineers paramedical categories all these four categories during the period july to september then we have level 1 in october to december and ministerial and isolated categories october to december now one can actually plan your preparation you can uh, actually uh, prepare for those exams well in advance because of this calendar already alp notification is out we will look at the details of alp notification then technicians is going to be released very soon technician notification the remaining notifications will follow now whenever there is a notification we will do a detailed video about the notification about the syllabus about the uh, what you call how to apply and what are the important topics to prepare and what one should do as a part of the preparation we will have a separate videos for each of these exams now let us look at alp notification very quickly details of alp notification alp 2024 notification details we have 5696 posts total number of posts announced 5696 posts last day to apply 19th february 2024 So 19th February is the last date. Don't wait till the last date. Please apply as soon as possible to avoid last moment hiccups. Then you can apply under only one RRB, South Central, Eastern, like that. You can apply. Choose one railway. So which uh, where do you uh, your zone fall into? Which railway zone your area? You have to apply based on that railway zone. If you look at your selection process, we have first stage CBT one, second stage. CBT two, then we have computer based aptitude test. We call it as CBAT. Then document verification, and the final one is your medical checkup, right? Now the first stage I am talking about CBT one is only qualifying in nature. CBT one is only qualifying in nature. The marks are only used to shortlist for your CBT two. they are not added in your final merit list cbt 2 contains part a part b we we'll look at the details in the next slide part b again qualifying in nature your final selection further process is based only on part a then cbat computer based aptitude test here computer based aptitude test is like you have uh, uh, what you called uh, direction memory based uh, concentration based questions here what happens is you have to qualify this your final selection is based on part a of cbt that is part a of cbt 
seventy percent for part A and thirty percent for CBAT. This is your final selection. Hundred percent is based on part A of CBT two. Part B is qualifying in nature and CBAT. You have to definitely qualify. Then only you will be considered. You should get the marks obtained in CBAT are thirty percent. That is seventy percent for part A and thirty percent for CBAT. This is this is based on your your final selection is based on these two exams, right? Then you have document verification followed by medical examination, right? Let us look at the eligibility criteria. Education qualification. 10th plus iti or diploma or polytechnic or btech or be except civil engineering and computer engineering that means you can be electrical engineer electronics engineer mechanical engineer etc except civil and computers you are eligible to take the test then age limit according to category according to the notification we have put it here general category and ews it is minimum 18 to maximum 30 years OBC 18 to 33 years and SCST 18 to 35 years. Right? This is about education qualification and age limit. Now, first stage CBT. This is only qualifying in nature. Right? Look at the sections here. General science we have 20 questions. Mathematics we have 20 questions. Mental ability. We have twenty-five questions, and general awareness. We have ten questions. Negative marking is there. One third is your negative marking. Now, what comprise of your general science? You have questions of only tenth standard, tenth class level, tenth standard questions on physics, chemistry, and life sciences. That is your biology. Then mathematics. Your questions on your basic commercial mathematics your arithmetic equations ratio then uh, time and work time speed and distance geometry menstruation trigonometry also we have questions then you have mental ability that is your reasoning based question that your coding decoding direction sense symbols notations blood relations basic seating arrangement right arrival departure you have questions from these topics then general awareness you have 10 questions but those 10 questions you have current affair questions you have questions based on economy your questions based on sports your questions based on books and others lot of areas but only 10 questions but each and every mark is important you have to prepare general awareness also students this is stage 1 cbt which is only qualifying in nature the marks are add, not added in your final selection it is only to qualify for the next stage now cbt stage 2 we have two parts as we discussed earlier part a part b part b is again qualifying in nature pa your selection is purely based on part a 70% marks then part a we have 90 minutes that's one and a half hours and 100 questions Again, you have mathematics questions on reasoning, questions on mathematics, questions on reasoning, and basic science and engineering, basic questions of engineering, first year engineering, right? Projections, uh, what you call your some basic questions of mechanics, etc. Then we have only the marks obtained scored in part A shall be counted for. further process that's what i'm saying part b is only qualifying in nature part b we have 60 minutes 75 questions right one hour 75 questions part b will have questions from your specialization that means electrical questions electronic questions mechanical questions like that your subject based questions it is only qualifying in nature right then this is about your alp notification now when you look at your technicians you can expect technician notification at any moment already number of posts tentative number of posts were announced we have 9000 posts for technicians if you look at the selection process we have first stage cbt exam 
your second stage CBT exam and document verification. Once the notification is released, we will come out with a detailed video about the syllabus, how to prepare, what to prepare, etc. As of now, your three stage selection process, notification can be expected any moment. Then, exam pattern and syllabus of technicians is same as your ALP, no change. Technicians and ALP will have same syllabus same or uh, difficulty level. So, no need not worry if you prepare for ALP automatically comfortably you can write your technician exam. Right. Let us look at the other post categories which we were discussing in the first slide. What were the posts announced previously? If you observe the previous that is these were the notifications which were announced in 2019. After that we do not have any notification on this but these are expected this year definitely. Now, if you look at 2019, NTPC graduate 30,471, NTPC undergraduate 14,060, then paramedical categories 1937, level 1 almost 1 103,769 and uh, ministerial and isolated categories you got about 1600 odd. All put together 1,50,000 students 1,50,000. 50,000. Huge number of posts, huge number of vacancies. If you are serious about making your career in central government, in railways, definitely you should look at these exams. You have to start your preparation right now. Calendar is out, notifications to follow. So, please do start your preparation right now. Also, you can uh, what you call plan your preparation perfectly because you have about 5-6 months of time left over for this NTPC exams, exams in the notification in the month of July, exam tentatively in the month of August. So, you can actually plan your preparation, right. So, this is about this uh, RRB calendars and as and when notification is released, we will have a detailed video where we will be discussing about the notification details, the syllabus, the paper pattern, etc. Apart from that, we also do a few subject webinars so that it will help you for your preparation, right? So, we wish you all the best for your exam student.